When Lando Norris won the CIK FIA Karting World Championship at SA in 2014, he became the youngest ever karting world champion at just 14 years old. In 2019, he'll make his Formula 1 debut with McLaren. But he's not the only karting world champion to become a legendary racing driver. So that sounds like a good excuse for another top 10. And this time, it's the top 10 karting world champions that made themselves into big names. First on our list is Lake Speed, the only ever NASCAR racer to win the title. He won six national titles in the United States before he won at Le Mans in 1978, beating the likes of Ayrton Senna and Terry Fullerton. He made his NASCAR debut two years later, despite considering Formula One as an option, but he'd have to wait another decade for his sole victory in NASCAR's Winston Cup when he won the Trans South 500 at Darlington in 1988. Next up is Kiwi sensation Wade Cunningham. He and his brothers Mitch and Aaron have become legends of the sport in their native New Zealand, but in 2003 Wade became world champion at Sarno, even beating Vitantonio Liuzzi and Nico Hulkenberg. After becoming Indy Lights champion and getting a few races in IndyCar, Cunningham's money slowly and rather sadly dried up, but he had the honour of being called up for his country's A1GP squad for free practice sessions just three years after his world karting crown. Then there's Guido van der Gaard, who won the World Championship the year before Cunningham and also for CRG in 2002, with legends such as Marco Ardigo and Davide Fore on the grid behind him, and even Pastor Maldonado, who he would later cross swords with again in Formula 1 as a racer for Caterham in 2013, and of course nearly for Sauber in 2015. He has since become European Le Mans Series champion and now races for Racing Team Nederland in the World Endurance Championship. Alfa Romeo and Ferrari man Giampiero Simoni is next. He shot a stardom by winning the World Championship on home turf in 1987 at Gesolo, with both Tom Christensen and Rubens Barrichello crossing the finish line behind him. After several years in Italian Formula 3, he was picked up for Alfa Romeo's British Touring Car Championship bid in 1994. And despite a win and two pole positions, his star sadly waned, and he's now part of Ferrari's driving instruction team, and has plenty of time to play with his remote control cars. The man on everybody's lips at one point was Jan Magnussen. He became McLaren's golden boy, having won the World Karting Championship in 1990, ahead of the likes of Jos Verstappen and that man again, Tom Christensen. He then drove just one race for McLaren before he was poached by Stewart, and after two difficult seasons, turned to sports car racing and cleaned up with Corvette. And now, of course, his son Kevin is an F1 star with Haas, and he didn't do that bad in karting either. Over the years, karting really has been dominated by the Italians. One of the first was the Iron Paduan, Riccardo Patrese. In 1974, he crushed the likes of Henry Toivonen, Eddie Cheever, and even Alain Prost to win the world karting title at Estoril. He went on to race and win in Formula 1 for the likes of Brabham and Williams and nearly replaced Ayrton Senna after his tragic death at Imola in 94. These days, of course, he's a retired national show jumping champion and loves mucking about with model railways and watching his son Lorenzo race. One of the most impressive kart racers was Vitantonio Liuzzi, and he keeps returning to the sport. He made it big in 2001 when he beat the likes of Nico Rosberg, Lewis Hamilton, and even a visiting Michael Schumacher to become world karting champion. He raced in Formula One for both Red Bull and Toro Rosso before stints at Force India and Hispania, before competing in World Endurance and Formula E, amongst other things, but he regularly returns to the karting arena and regularly wins. One man has won both Direct Drive and Gearbox World titles, Jarno Trulli. He became Formula K champion at Le Mans in 1991, defeating Giancarlo Fisichella and Jos Verstappen in the process, before clinching Formula C honours three years later. He would become a star in Formula 1, winning the 2004 Monaco Grand Prix, before racing for and managing his own Formula E team. And now he oversees his son Enzo, as he quests to follow in his father's footsteps. And then... There's Max. The other Verstappen excelled even more than his father did in karting. Starting at age four and a half, he became the youngest ever KZ World Champion at Varennes in 2013, aged 15, where he beat another teenager called Charles Leclerc, as well as a former Toro Rosso F1 star, Jaime Aguasuari. Now, of course, Max is demonstrating his phenomenal talents in Formula One, and despite being just 18 when he joined Red Bull, he won the Spanish Grand Prix in his first race for the team. But there is one who, for us, was even better. And Senna said so too. Terry Fullerton. He's not exactly a Formula 1 world champion, and OK, he only won the world championship once back in 1973, when he beat Ricardo Patrese to get the job done. But when Ayrton Senna emerged in the sport as a top talent, they would duel endlessly. And when he clinched his third Formula 1 world title, the Brazilian legend named Terry Fullerton as the greatest racing driver he ever competed against. And in all honesty, 
that's good enough for us. Fullerton has gone up against the best and won countless times, and nowadays has his own karting chassis which is used in various championships throughout Britain and Europe, and has been a permanent face of wisdom in karting paddocks all over the world. Fullerton really truly is our number one. Don't worry Gearbox fans, we haven't forgotten the Italian stallions Gabriele Tarquini and Fabrizio Giovanardi, but try as we might, we couldn't find any records of who they went up against. But they did go on to become two of the greatest touring car racers of all time, and both have driven a Formula 1 car, Giovanardi getting a test drive for Ferrari, and Gabriele racing for several teams, including Tyrrell. Tarquini became the oldest FIA world champion ever in the World Touring Car Cup last year, and both men have been a British touring car champion. Not bad at all. Who's your favourite karting world champion? Tell us in the comments below, and we'll see you again next time.